All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just leaving the gas station at Xenia, Illinois. They said it's what, five miles, Mason? Yeah, something like that. Five miles in Coon Hunter Talk is usually 10. So we're gonna say 15. Yeah, figured we'd do a little pre-roll coming into this. So yeah, we got tank, or tank. We was just talking about tank. <laughs> we got hooker, echo, cookie, and we are headed to the woods. Whole string of cars. Judges, backup judges, panel members, you name it. Rolling down the road. We did want to say, because Scott called me when he was on his way in, that the whole cast did not see that coon that they pushed out of that hole to uh, dock. Uh, it was just TJ and I think maybe one other person. And so that is why that coon couldn't get scored. Echo does what he needs to do. And now he's got to be the favorite. I think everybody I've talked to is thinking Echo's probably going to pull this out. Who you got, Mason? I got Echo. I've been, you got pulling, Echo. I've been pulling for him since, since the beginning. It can be any of them. I don't know who to pick, to be honest. It's all, all three are real good dogs. Oh, yeah. Cookies won a UKC World Hunt. Now she's in the finals of the PKC World Hunt. Stop the beer joint. Looks like it's hopping, ain't it? Probably a bad idea. Uh, ProHound is having trouble right now. The website was down last I knew, but they're still trying to get updates on ProHound. So. It should be good to go, as far as I know. I haven't been on it. I know some people are saying you can get there with your phone, but you can't get there off a the laptop. Roger Young says he's going Echo all the way. I think I'm going to go with Doug. She's also... <coughs> Off uh, Sunday Best, which which I'm going to. The only reason I'm going with Doug is because you picked Echo. I think gotcha. <laughs> we can't pick the same dog, right? And uh, our former PKC World Champion. Yep. Also off Sunday Best. Yep. What's the chances of having back to back pups off Sunday Best being back to back World Champions? Thanks for producing some good ones. He just passed a few weeks ago. Yep. Tank was a good one. Yeah. Wow. He treat coons as he come to him sometimes too, especially as he got older. He still like running that jump though, no matter how old he got every now and then. He was a good one. We're just hoping our cell phone service holds out. Ask the guy if they got cell phone service, and they say, Yeah, sure. Yeah. Half the time you get there, you don't. Keep going west a little bit. We shall see. Let's hope. Right now, looks good. There are no leaves on. Dogs are going to have to have their coons. All these dogs do. I think one of them's fixing to come alive. I think it's fixing to be a blowout. I think so. I don't know which one, but I think one of them's fixing to show up. And they may all show up. I hope that's the case. What do you say? It's hard to show out in the world final. Goose was the one of the exceptions. You gotta think what these dogs have been through. But we do have two dogs that came in on qualifiers. Dogs didn't have to hunt till yesterday. 
last night. Yeah. I believe I've had to hunt all week. Yeah. When did Hooker get in? Monday night, I believe. Yeah, I see. She got in early. So they're all on pretty level playing field, really. That getting in early, it's a big advantage. Oh, yeah. If you can get in on Monday or Tuesday, get a night off. Caleb Swim says he's been pulling for Cookie since the quarterfinals. PKC World Hunt. Jesse Lancaster says Hooker is about to hook him. Hook him, Hooker. <laughs> Feel more hype than watching a UFC pay per view. I don't get to film the UFC pay-per-views. They got a lot better commentator. Yeah. Well, I'm the cameraman. You're the commentator. <laughs> Here we go. That guy's not. He's not in the UFC anymore. Bruce? Huh? Who's it, Bruce? No, Bruce is the ring announcer. The guy that said, "Here we go," was uh, Michael. I can't remember his last name, man. Ward? No, what <laughs> Ward? <laughs> I think it was Michael. But anyway, I can be Rogan, you can be Cormier. <laughs> I'd like a Ward to jump on me then. <laughs> <laughs> Twist him up in a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, he ain't living that one down. You know, you just have to wait till they ain't looking to tackle him and get have someone holding the camera there so you can get that back. Oh, yeah. We're going to get him one day. 90 minutes. Every cast under 90. I had to announce it all week. I don't think Echo Stock can get any higher. I think they'll retire him right here if he wins it. I think so. Scott's been saying he's got one more left in him. One more left in him. He's been saying that for about six months. One more big one left. Okay. This is it. Talking it into existence. He has been getting stronger as the hunt goes on, too. He has. Two former world champions, paneler wise. Yep. And Doug's won his fair share. He's he's always well over 100,000. Probably. Maybe closer to two. Maybe he's, to he's closer to two. He's got to be way over 100. Heck, he won 30 some thousand down there to $100,000 on it. There's still one of those swoop. I know. A couple years Been in the finals in the pro sport truck hunts once or twice. He won 30 some thousand in uh, Texas at $6,500 on it. Yeah. Yeah. $100 twice and won it. And then yeah. got a split. I was judging down there the year. And they're a dog taking it. Oh, we're getting farther and farther into the woods and making me nervous about my cell phone reception. I hope we park right under a tower. Right there. Yeah. Echo could probably, we could be under a tower and these dogs could probably still get us out of range. <laughs> we'll see folks, we'll keep it going best we can. Jace Royer. 
almost waiting on his baby to arrive, watching from the hospital. Congratulations. Chase is a father too. I can assure you that the hospital does not give one rat's ass about you. They will, they will, you will have a very uncomfortable couch to sleep on and a blanket that's not really a blanket and no pillow. That's been my experience with my two kids. Oh, are there any more bumps you can hit? You better turn around like you missed one. Are you aiming for him? <laughs> <laughs> it's always five miles ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're down to two bars. Starting to get nervous. Gosh dang, we gotta be close. We shall see, folks. Fairly dry out here. Yeah. It'll be spring. Come April will be, I bet super steaks ain't dry. around till we don't have cell phone service then turn us loose. <laughs> be a four dog cast that dog follows us far enough <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen we got to be getting close I see four bars on the bash that's good forty thousand dollars what would you do with forty thousand dollars, Mason? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Good question. I wouldn't know for anything. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd probably go buy something. Else. Yeah. No, I'd buy something worth eighty thousand. I'd take a forty thousand dollar loan out. <laughs> <laughs> no, money. no wind tonight, Parker. Very light breeze. Yep. 
I'd use that 40 as 10% to put something down on 400,000. Be in debt forever. <laughs> Wonder how I'm gonna pay for it. Yep. Stacy'd probably spend 35,000 on shoes. <laughs> well, Roger Young, if I just won a world championship, I'd surely be pretty happy with my dog. I wouldn't have to buy one. I probably would though. I like having to do everything. That thing is 40,000 a day's well done. It's not gonna, it ain't gonna last you long. That's only two weeks of groceries for my kids. <laughs> Little pigs. are here. What's the woods look like, Mason? Big woods. <clears throat> There's a house right in there. But I mean, that's not going to be an issue. I assume we got permission <laughs> on the finals. You'd hope. 40 trucks deep in here. I don't think Rodeo's breeding career is going anywhere either. He had a bunch of dogs in. Yes. A bunch of dogs winning big. Seven. Yeah. Seven. I don't think Rodeo's going to have a hard time finding a date just because Echo wins. No. Then that's going to help. Spot pocketbook. Yep. There you go, Roger. If mine was nine, I'd probably buy one too. Brad Durham's going to be your judge. How you feeling? Feel pretty good. Any nerves? Nope. None whatsoever? You don't ever get too rattled. She might get rattled. Hmm. Looks like she's ready to roll. We hope. Two opposite environments in the same day probably can't be found. I'm in Orlando this morning at five. <laughs> Tell them I got home, I drove up here. Tell me some of that stuff you seen. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't I saw some I saw some furries down there. <laughs> Come again. <laughs> <laughs> you have to put that post off there. <laughs> There's the manly hour.
Not you either, Engel. We're talking to Echo. Mr. Shane and Cookie. Hey, thank you, bud. You too, Doctor. Yep. Good luck. Hey, thanks, Randy. Hey, good job, Doc. Thanks, sir. Good luck tonight, Shane. Good luck. He's going that way, guys. We gonna turn him loose right here. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> what we get for following trail hound. Minutes up. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> what a start to a world up. I assume they're coming right back here. Turn loose again anyway. Brad, you ever seen that? I've never seen that. Not even in a not even in a little hunt. That was the right call. And they're there's, off to the races. Because there's nothing for mile three, almost three miles north. Yeah, you don't want to go north. That's why it's send up south. No timber. If I'm them handlers, I just sideswipe the other two. <laughs> <laughs> go get my dog and be back yeah. for the hour. So for folks that don't know what just happened, <laughs> we turn loose on the edge of this woods. 
<laughs> all the all the dogs took a hard left and went out through wide open territory and they are rolling they are probably <laughs> probably three quarters of a mile already i don't know but all three handlers agreed two minutes into the cast to call time out get them all gathered bring them back here and turn them loose again and start to hunt again everybody's even play playing field now we just have an hour and 28 minutes to hunt instead of an hour and 30. so yeah that's a new one on me if we'd have been taking bets on how this hunt started that one would have been a heck of a pick Crazy dog, huh? Look at somebody on one pair went left. Yeah. All three of them too did it. All three dogs went left. Yeah, all three. I'm talking about a truck. Yeah, no, I see the truck. Yeah. That's what I was getting. That's what I was getting ready to ask too. What happens if the hour does catch them all? They all get scratched. Yeah, but then who wins? Nobody was struck in, were they? No. Dead cast. It's a dead cast. Probably and they all, then you go into overtime. Yeah. You go into the overtime. Yeah, it'd be. That would be funny to go into sudden death. Yep. Be the only drop of the world hunt. <laughs> I'm guessing we'd make a phone call and yeah. Shane would just say, hey, let's start over. All three of them didn't make it. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. You get them rounded up and then you turn loose and go to sudden death. That'd be a neat world, huh? <laughs> be like the, it'd just be like the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a new one. I don't think I've ever called time out that quick before. I've been doing this since 1962. I see one of them up there. I think Cookie's got a fairly decent handle on her, don't she? Yeah. Yeah. That's I, thought, good. I thought she did. I don't know about the other I ain't two. supposed to root for nobody, but I'm rooting for Cookie. <laughs> you like them dogs with a good handle. <laughs> that's probably hunts with her knees. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly and she's right. Got a yeah, I thought Cookie had a good handle if I remember the last time I hunted with her. I think what we do is walk around that point right there and walk down in there and then sign. Or even if you just walked around there and sent them back in that way, maybe. Yeah, better off to good. keep them on this side yeah. as much as possible. Crazy dogs. I've gotten the last couple of cast crazy dogs. <laughs> Three and a half, four miles, that's crazy. <coughs> last night, though, them dogs went out of there on jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Get you a fire rolling there. Well, when I was a kid growing up, my dad and I'd go to many a fire waiting for them damn dogs to get treed. Take them all night to get treed back then, back in the 50s. You wouldn't even have time to roast a marshmallow before these dogs would be out of the country. <laughs> yeah, ain't that the truth? We were, at least we were hearing the dogs back then. Yeah, well, that's right. We wouldn't even had the firewood unloaded. <laughs> but we were forcing if we treat three coons a week, only three coons a night. Yeah. Know? Different ball game now, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot different. Seen a lot of changes in 75 years of doing this. Wasn't no cameraman out in the woods back in either.
think Cookie's caught. <laughs> Might be. You're just gonna have to entertain all the people, bro. Sing a song or something. Tell us a story. We don't have Jack turned that camera off now, didn't you? No, it's on. Oh my god, it's on you. Well, everybody, hey, everybody wants, everybody wants to know what Floyd has to say. Tell us some story, stories. Well, I'll say this: I've been doing this seventy-five years. It's improved a lot. What about the dogs? Uh, I pretty... don't like the caliber of dogs we have today. Is I, the caliber of dogs we had in the nineties, the early two thousands? I liked a lot. I don't like the old dogs we had back in the fifties and sixties, seventies. Too trashy. You like them dogs stay in pocket more. They stayed in pocket more in the 90s. Well, yeah, I don't mind yeah. a dog a mile. I don't yeah. mind that. I don't mind a dog hitting a deer and going half a mile, three quarter mile, yeah. getting treed, coyote. I don't care to get struck in. But two, two, three miles is a little excessive, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, I agree with you, Floyd. <laughs> As a guy that's got to follow him around all the time holding the stick. <laughs> but, uh, I like them to stay within a mile myself. No wonder you look like you're in shape. Yeah. He was like the one last night on our last round last night. They went three and a half miles for the first round. Jeez. One mile. That does not sound like a good good time to me. I didn't the only know. thing that was good about it is I was sweating. <laughs> I went back to the truck after the first mile and sat at the truck and waited for a phone call to go pick somebody up. <laughs> Sometimes being the truck man ain't a bad gig, a bad is, it, gig is it, Floyd? Yeah. <laughs> I don't hear nothing trees. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> call the six? I ain't got a watch running on the time, but I imagine that I'll get back in time. Well, that's what we've done all again. We turned this here. Flowed through all that. And ended up over there. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's like four miles. You know, I, wow. I, I guess you blame all this on the guide, though, really, don't you? You don't blame the dogs and the handlers. Well, I've been the guide when the dogs go the wrong way and the handlers are all griping at me, and I always blame it on the dogs. They're going to tell Floyd to give his money back. What money? <laughs> I didn't get no money. <laughs> oh, they pay the guide afterward now? I don't know if they even pay the guide on the final round. Just do it out of the goodness of your heart. I'm That's Floyd. right. I don't need the money. Well, that's good, because even when you do get paid, it ain't enough to buy a tank of gas. <laughs> no. I heard you talking about that. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, I ain't earned it yet. Hey, you remember that 20 you owe me? Christy, yeah, tell Davenport he just as well get out of here. Hey, we got hey, time. This is your dog nowadays. feed. This is your dog feed Monday. Did you okay. hear me? What's that? It costs fifty dollars to get pulled out nowadays. Is that all right? <laughs> hey, you used my chain. Yeah, well, Gee, so I guess I'll have to get my wallet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take the check if you got one. Floyd, how did you get stuck in the early round? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, don't want to talk man. about it. What? There were <laughs> four in inches of water like that. That's how I got stuck. <laughs> right out in it. Everybody makes fun of the old truck with the wooden dog box, but it saved them. Yes, it yep. did. I, only thing that bothered me, we was going to get this young man, his first year, we was going to get him in the picture of a, of a final, but we didn't get back there to get him in the picture. So make sure you get him on camera. There you go. Yeah. The whole world can see him now. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this is about the most enjoyable first 10 minutes of a cast I've had doing this. <laughs> this is a lot better than tromping around in the weeds. Well, you have some pretty good hunts, all three of us. Yeah, we do. I... Oh, that's Carl and Highway. I thought I heard I a dog seeing, here for a second. When I start seeing headlights coming back down this dirt road here, I'll be a lot happier. Yeah. I don't want anybody to have to get scratched on a deal like this. I don't think they will. So how long do they? One hour. They got an hour. An hour they got an hour I think one of them's coming back right now. Yeah, I think Cookie's caught. Hey, all right. <laughs> so we got one. Let's get two more and we go. 
I don't even know what all's in. Cookie, who else? Uh, Doug Hebner with Hooker and Scott Engel with Echo. Oh, Echo. Okay. Echo was the one that was in your cast, ain't it, Chad? Yeah. Yeah. Is he the one that made you walk so far? Yes. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Awesome. It'll be, be a good time for you to take your nap. That's true. <laughs> Wake me up in the hours up. <laughs> Church is going to come pretty fast in the morning. Yeah, I know. It does after these late rounds. I got, I got, we got an Easter egg hunt in the morning. We got church. Oh, I got boy. All. And yeah, I'm, you got all kinds of stuff And I just do. moved down here last June, but I've been going to this church for over a year because I've come <clears> down back and forth, and I still have my house up by Springfield. But anyway, I'm supposed to join the church tomorrow morning. Or gonna vote me in or out, probably. Well, out. good, <laughs> probably out. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> I have to wake you up. It's your turn. Yeah, I don't please. know if we want somebody like that in the church or not. <laughs> I've seen a lot of churches full of sorry old coon hunters after a late round, oh, half asleep. Yeah, yeah. There's been a whole bunch of them right down here in this area. Oh, yeah. No, I'm talking about. Look at my help over there. It's relaxing. Carl Lewis didn't have shit on me right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of gas. I'm out of air. So you've been, you've well, Shane, been you won the race on the way back. There's Doug. Waiting on Echo. Just cutting out some of the bitches. They start spinning. They cut out, cut across that field. I'll get that fucking shit fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that track and control off. Yeah, that's how much you have to go. Hmm. He's getting with it, wouldn't he? <laughs> Did Doug get his? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, because the last two casts, late last night and this cast earlier, we walked about probably the total of about eight miles. Might be good that they just did that. Yeah. <laughs> Get some of that out of them. Jeff David walked a long way. That's just a warm up for these dogs. I know. <laughs> they just getting stretched out. What's the time, Brad? Nineteen. Still got forty one minutes for Echo to get here. Plenty of time. And what do we use two minutes of hunt time exactly? Minute 
17 minutes and we're going down there. Okay. <sighs> yes. Don't know why I ain't done nothing all week. Yeah, no kidding. I brought an extra battery. Just in case. Late on Echo. I thought, I had a feeling he might be the last one back. <laughs> I bet Scotty gets him caught here shortly, surely. Who'd Scott have with him? Randy. Just Randy. Randy. do Stephen is we're gonna cut in that same woods but we're gonna walk around that little point right there and then cut them down that edge kind of shield them from that open stuff That's plan as far as what Floyd said anyway <laughs> Got him caught. Okay. All right. We got word that Scott's got in, or Scott's got Echo caught. He's on his way back. We will basically restart. That is a good deal. Hate to see a dog lose like that. Yep. Oh yeah, got plenty of it. Tony, I'm still good on the hat, but it's a joy hat, not a razor hat. I ain't got enough razor hats to give away.
Scotty does have echo caught, and he is making his way back to us. I'm going to have to give some hats away this year. I told them in the top 28 if they could pick up. I'd give them a free joy hat. Three or four of them picked Echo, and three or four of them picked Snooky. Or Cookie, I mean. So I don't know if anybody I don't know if anybody picked Hooker or not. I'll have to go back and read the comments. Here comes Engel. there get echo out of the truck and get them all lined up and try this again Prodigal son has arrived. <laughs> Stephen Dunn picked Hooker. He says. Either way, I'm out some hats. <laughs> Remember, I told you guys if you want a hat to email Mason Bush, mason at joydogfood.com. He'll get you fixed up. Let me get the tripod folded back up. We'll take off again. Well, Tony, we don't know. Let's just hope they don't. That's possible. If I go the right way, it's a big chunk of woods.
You know, Rodney, I don't know if there was or not. I didn't look. Yes, sir. Hooker struck for 100. Echo strike. Echo struck for 75. Echo is quite a ways left handed of Hooker and deeper. Fred, you got yes, me? Yes, sir, I got you. Strike cooking. For 50.
Stationary working. On echo? It's all right here. Free cookie. Cookie crank for 125. Cookie trees. On echo. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was that cool. <laughs> Still can't believe it. You couldn't hear right over your heavy breathing. <laughs> she tapped around on that several times, Shane. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real confident. Yeah. What bad made me for your second close? <laughs> All right, let's go see what Cookie's got. Hooker run a really good track out of there and then let out a couple of locates, and I haven't heard nothing out of her since. Echo's still trailing quite a ways left handed and deeper. See if Cookie draws first blood here. It did take her longer than normal to settle in on this, but when she did, she settled in good. We shall see. Huh? We have. Hooker struck for 100, still carrying it. Echo struck for 75, still carrying it. Cookie tree for 50 and 125 pending. Go, so I can still hear a little bit. He is straight left handed of us right now. I haven't heard Hooker in a while. That goes in there quite a ways already.
watch them vines. Could be better, but you go drop the yes, other. You're, you're, you're the man. Hit me first. Ah, hit me first. You want me to hit it harder? No. Ha! <laughs> 
No, we we just seen the holes all we've seen, okay? I would like that, so, to be honest. Right now it's going to be cookie, 150 circle, I'm nothing else in the main tree. What way do I need to go, Dad? Now you can either go south or east, it doesn't matter. We're walking Cookie's minute. She's got 150 circle. Hooker's still carrying 100 strikes. Echo 75. Hooker tree for 125. Let's go see what she got. Be a big tune for hooker. To the best of my knowledge, from the last place we heard that, so we are walking away from him. Whether we'll be out of here or not, I do not know. You're right, Christy, 175. Some idiot had to change it to 140. I think it was Shane's idea. We have used 23 minutes of hunting time. About an hour and seven and a half, an hour and six and a half minutes left. It's a little hilly in here. I heard 
50. Little left handers. Little left handers. Just been once or twice, but we were walking. Why don't we walk that flat? We walked all the way around there. That's all flat. <laughs> Goes right to her. Like a complete door when he goes down here. So we got hooker treat for 225. Echo struck for 100, still carrying it. Cookie is loose, has 175 circle, and has not been restruck yet. Still a lot of time left. Yes, you're right. Echo did structure 75. That's why I said Hooker had 225 pending. But yeah, he's carried 75. I'm sorry. And we are, unless he's made an about face, I believe we're still walking away from him. But I do not know that for sure. I haven't heard him in a long time. Not since we was about halfway to Cookie's first tree. Either way, a coon right here for Hooker and Doug puts everybody two coons down. With an hour left. If I could do that and hold this camera, I probably would. If I'm going to cast, I just remember the score's pretty good.
No, Echo has not been minus. He's not having any reason to minus him yet. And Bush can't write. So I'd have him do that. Oh, it was a lot further than I thought. Her mouth carries good. She's got a good mouth. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, I can breathe again. No echo has not been treated. Shane is here in Cookie left handed. Brad has not heard her yet. Scott's getting a big antenna out. Doug can correct me if I'm wrong later, but it sounded like Hooker may have hit something on the ground out of the truck. Made a good track located two times and peeled out. I might be wrong though. First time I've hunted with her. Two is working. I do like this little few miles an hour. You got a good one, got a good locate. She's a lot farther than I thought. Her up. Yeah. Good job, Doug. Just took a P25 plus. Now we have to walk back to the last place Good we were at. What? Shane, you struck? No. We gotta we walk. To, whoa, we gotta go back this way. Brad, we gotta go this way. We're going this way. Let's Scott go, still struck in. How you doing, bud? Come, come down. Yeah, come along. Come right all the way down. Be nice to turn loose on again, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
We gotta walk back to the last place we heard echo, which was many moons ago. We've used 35 minutes. Hopefully they're smart enough to take a flat spot this time. We would hear Cookie or Echo before we get all the way over there. But who knows? Nothing. Let's walk. I thought it was such a shame. Did you hear my dog over there? Uh uh. I heard I a dog either. over there. I couldn't tell what it was. I haven't either. <laughs> well, I, am I heard a house dog, but I I'm can't waiting. tell. I see that.
Yeah, I know, but I couldn't. Is that what that was? That long, but seriously, though, is that what that was? I've seen people run before. It don't look like that. We've used about 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 41 minutes gone. Not quite halfway. A lot of time left. Right now, Hooker is on the leash and two coons up. We will apply the six when we get to the last place we heard echo. I have no doubt we will walk the six on how far he is that cookie could get struck in the meantime so who knows what brad is do what brad will do is we'll go to the last place we heard that goes and start to stick got to walk surely after six minutes of hard walking we could probably get into range of echo Doug, would you rather be looser on that leash right now? What? I said, would you rather be looser on that leash right now? On this leash? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. Tick, 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 tick. I don't care if they want me for 20 minutes. <laughs> or 40. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> I take it just like it lays right now. Yes, sir. That was my guess as well. Just wanted to verify.
I'd say we got probably half mile or so before we get back to where we heard echo. Twenty-five plus for hooker. <coughs> Excuse me. One fifty circle for cookie, and Echo is still carrying seventy-five strike. And we're walking back to the last place we heard Echo, which, by my count, is about seven miles, or it feels like anyway. Maybe eight. Yes, 175 circle. I always forget about the 125 tree. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I know, I know. Beautiful spot. I see that. I don't know why anybody asked me. Six is working. Scott says he ain't treating his trail. Got six, we're walking. He did say not treed trailer, still for Echo. Echo's got to hurry. So does Cookie. Oh, 
Echo has been heard from. Tighten up. Fifty one minutes gone. Fifty one minutes gone. He still don't know you got him, Brad. Brad had Shane, but Shane didn't strike. Some confusion there, I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to tighten up a little bit on Echo because he is currently the only dog truck. is a ticking. 53.30 gone. A bunch of house dogs barking too. My six, right? Yes, sir. Hey, do you hear me there? Let me listen to that quick shot.
something in there sounds treat every breath. I assume it's one of them house dogs. All right, still tightening up on Echo. Doug is just watching this clock tick down. Want it to go a little faster. Either Echo or Cookie are gonna have to get treated quick. They're just not gonna have enough time. You're welcome, Livingston. Thank you guys for tuning in. Good viewership tonight, all, all week. It's been good. There's about two and a half, three minutes gone. Struck for quarter. Hooker stroke, struck, broke the six. Jip has got a four real mouth up. Here, struck in for 25. Stationary working on hooker. Stationary is applied to hooker. Trigger. Doug says no sense in waiting. Hooker. This could be it. Could be the deciding factor right here.
entry for 50. I'm pretty sure they're not together. I don't think they're together. has a coon here. It's probably a rat. But if Doug gets minus for any reason. And Echo's set past her with the coon. Echo is your new leader. But Doug is going to have time to turn her loose again. I don't know whether Echo will have much time by the time we get to him or not. Shall see. She did run a good track in there. Sounded like me anyway. Someone tell them the scores, I'm not qualified. Yes, Echo has been treed. He was treed for 50 in the direction of Hooker, but I'm guessing they're not together. They don't sound they're close, but I don't think they're together. is closed. Tighten up, I just hear one dog. Well, no, not here too. Might be together. I can't tell if that's just her. She throws a bunch of hot bars too. Yeah. Five minutes left. Those dogs are definitely not together. Don't sound like anyway. We'll see.
Like it was probably, I guess, a hundred yards away from Hooker. Maybe 150 left handed. Down goes Brad. You good? <laughs> that was a pretty athletic barrel roll, Dirt. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, every good, every bit. What? I got him. Good job, bro. Bless her up. Hell of a job. I'm still looking for that air tank. <laughs> you have any after this all up here? Yeah, I laugh. <laughs> no, I do. Come on, we gotta go score this dog, huh? Yeah. Let's go, Doug. Man, it's working. Hey, good job, bro. Thank you. Doug's gotta be on top of the world right now. Her score 375. Echo has 200 pending, and Cookie is struck, so the strike does not open back up. She still there is 21 minutes, or, yeah, 21 and a half minutes left. She still has time to get stationary put on her if she does get tree. Keep that in mind. It ain't over yet. Still a lot of time. Let's go see what Echo's got. Oh, 
Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, come out there to beat on that. This is fun. Yeah. We'll give this a try. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, he was. Now there is second and third placing going on here. You got to figure hookers won this thing, most likely. Cookie setting it. 175 circle. Echo, if we don't get this coon out of there, we'll be setting in 200. Shane is surely going to want to get over the hill if Cookie is tree and get her heard and uh, fight for placement. We have about 14 and a half minutes left. Just 15 and a half minutes left. Don't worry, you can you can rewatch it. Yeah, he said you can rewatch it. Here's what we look like so far. Three circle without hooker struck. Yes, sir. Huh? What is it? It may be them other dogs. Here's dog feeding. But without hooker struck, we are going to walk to the last place to turn. I heard cooking. Kidding that far. I want to get struck here and keep that strike at a quarter to six. It does catch her, but there won't be time left. How about Brad's fall, everybody? That may have been the highlight of the night. Barrel roll and everything. I was pretty impressed.
cookie has been treated. 125 or 150. Should be 125. It's 150. 150 Yes. 150 pending. I figure she's only about three and a half miles. How far is she, Shane? She's not too She's one point. Whatever that says. One point. Uh, you lost me at one point. One I don't point care. Three. I don't care about the rest of it after you said one point. Does your feet hurt? Nope. Mine do. <laughs> <laughs> this the first round I've hunted all week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're one tough son of a buck. Charlie, call me crazy, Jerry. We got a mile to go to Cookie. So it's going to be a bit. Did you have a coon? Or a possum one. Bush at. Try to get a hold of this thing for a little bit. Now, where does he sound? That definitely seals it up. No reason you would have to tree hooker. Barring some fluke scenario that I can barely think of, Doug Hebner and Hooker are going to be the 2024 PKC World Champions. And well deserved. Little dog looked really good. Of course, she's off the tank, too. And one of Shane Fulce's females. A good reproducing female at that. That makes all the difference in the world. She done a bang up job on two coons and really was not on the ground very long. Maybe 20 minutes total, I'm guessing. Made it look easy. Thank you, Billy. I'm sure he'll buy her lots of honey bonds. One stops, we all stop. Let's 
see, what is it? Juice? Is that the female? Fuckers out of fuzzy fruit juice. I believe that's probate's mama too. I like hooker a lot better than I like probate. <laughs> Don't tell George. <laughs> Yeah, we've already talked about Tank. Very underrated reproducer. We talked about him in the pre-show. Back-to-back -back world champs. I'm guessing Tank Pups. It's going to be a hot commodity for Grand Pups. I don't know if they've seen him stored on him or not. He just passed away not very long ago. He's a good dog in his own right, too. I always... Seen him do some good work. Multiple people handling him. The ant handled him, Doug handled him. And of course Joey Craig. And I'm sure others. Good. Glad they got some stored on him. It wasn't bred really that much, I don't think, while he was alive, to be honest. He was always haunted. Much like Echo. That's got a ring to it, don't it? <laughs> Little dog looked really good tonight. Very good. I like how you didn't hesitate on that stationary. Yeah, we've been good. I know since I let stay free. Yeah. I was going to have to free her regardless. I might as well get free She done a fine job. She run a good track in there. It sounded like she had a cooking to me, too, and I ain't ever hunted with her. Doug is going to be the 2024 PKC World Champion. And we still got a long ways to go to get the cookie. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to, Doug. <laughs> Doug, you're also going to be the first to invite T to the Super Hunt down in Texas. I hope to see you guys down there with Hooker. Good deal. It's a fun time. We'll be happy to have you. We, used to, we ain't used to crowning a Super Hunt contestant this early. It's usually October before we can do our earliest. What do you think of the spring hunt? Do you yeah. like it better than the fall? I like this hunt, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I do too. Especially with no leaves on. You worry about the ones that make too many trees? Yep, for sure. I can't say nothing. I made a bad one every ring on the thing. But this one. Yep. She does enough to get by with making a mistake here and there, it looks like. She's quick. Yep. 
What was she on the ground tonight? Maybe 15, 20 minutes yep. total? That's it. Yeah. She wasn't very long in between her two coons. People see this and they think, well, two coons in an hour, that ain't that impressive, but when you figure walk time and listening for dogs and walking away from her and stuff. Oh, it's, it's, it's a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Two minutes left. Two minutes, left. Two minutes roughly. Well, we can officially say we've had three super hunt contestants all on the same cast. Echo, Cookie, and now Hooker. Awesome dog, very good. Thank Pete, you. Sumner, everybody. Thank what you. a good dog. Thank nice you. job. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Hey, good job, man. Yes, sir. Where'd you go, buddy? I'm mm -hmm. proud of you. Thank you. Good job. Scott, good hunting. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Good job, buddy. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you. Well deserved, well done. That feels good, though. Good good World champion. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Hey, damn good job there, Whistle. Thank you. Scott, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Dog don't owe you nothing, does he? <laughs> We're good. Yeah, well done. Best dog one. Yes, sir. Well done. Good job, Dougie. Where you going, man? Let's go. All right, boys and girls. One tree to score to the side, second and third. Cookie just needs a circle or a cone. Someone tell me the difference between second and third. What is the price difference between second and third, Brett? I think it's like 10 grand, eh? Right? Yeah. I think it's 10 grand. So for 10 grand, I'd walk a mile too, or three. Let's see what Cookie has. Well done to Hooker and Echo. Scott and Doug, Sumner, Heath, everybody involved with the dog. Good competitors. And believe it or not, folks, this is how most of these hunts go. A lot of handshaking and good jobs. Definitely thank the sponsors, Jim. If it wasn't for them, we would not be out here. And our Kane Stream members, of course. Thanks to Jim Curtis, a longtime supporter. Always like seeing Jim on there. Yeah, $8,000 difference. 
Either way, I'm walking it. How about Cookie, too? All these dogs super accomplished. UKC World Champion. Final three of the PKC World. Good team of men behind her, too. Shane, Cody Carter, Justin Davenport. And she might be your reserve champion. We'll see you here in about another half mile. I hate to break the bread, but I'm going to cut that part of him falling down. Make a reel out of it. Try to get that to go viral on Monday. Cookie don't sound any closer than she did when we started walking to her. Yes, Cookie's a very well accomplished little dog. That is a fact. Yeah, we weren't too far from the truck when we come off Hooker Street. And I thought, maybe we'll get out of this without a crazy long walk. I should have known better. But still, it ain't too bad. We'll be under, should be under five miles total. Second wire is hot. Oh, never mind. She don't sound any closer than she was when we left up there on that hill. I said she sounds the same as she did when we left, walking toward her.
There's a bunch of folks staying up late watching that. That's good. Yep. They got the strays down to about nothing, don't they? Thank you, Chris. Don't give my number out to anybody. We're tightening up. It's a beautiful spot, isn't she? Look at that. It's gorgeous in here. Chris Allen, I knew you'd done it on purpose whenever I called you and you immediately started laughing. I knew exactly what I'd called you for. <laughs> I had a good conversation though, I got a kick out of it. We're about there. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Blue Ticker. Pikey. We got super steaks coming next, and it will be better. Try to get better every week. <laughs> wow. I just about pissed myself. <laughs> I can talk them off. Oh. That was hot. Don't touch it. She is a wonderful tree dog. Nice, easy, steady cadence. Let's see what she's got. Just needs a circle. Circle the raccoon. Moves her into the set. There he is. Bless her up. Got it.
You got her. <laughs> he cracks me up. <laughs> that is your reserve world champion, Snooky's Cookie. I wish we could turn loose again. <laughs> I ain't walking up. <laughs> hey, can we turn loose again so we can walk a little more? Is the hunt over? It's not over. We'll start over. We'll start again. I'm going to drink the lunch. I'm not bad. If you drive anywhere, too. I can drive my truck, too. Thank you, buddy. Shane, congratulations. Hey, thank you, buddy. Hey, you good. want the water back or not? Yeah, I slobbered. Like like, oh, hell, you're double barreled. <laughs> good job, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If we have to, we can walk the field from back to the foot. I don't want to. There's a road there, but. Hi. Oh, Brad, that water. Real right. deal, huh? You want it? <laughs> no, I'm good. I feel that road. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the 2024 PKC World Championship. Good times. Very good times. Thanks for judging, Brad. You did a fine job. Good job, Brad. Thank you. I'm going to take that little barrel roll trip you did, and I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to make a little video of it. It'll be fun. It'll be great. No, good guys, good cast. Uh, very good dogs. And uh, really, all we can do is thank you for joining us. I had a great viewership. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you at the Super Stakes, if not before.